BoJack Horseman was an experience. Was it a good experience? Well, I loved the show. It was deep, introspective, kind of made you think a lot. And, well, in the worst ways, it kind of made you think about yourself. Or at least, it made me think about myself. It made me recognize my faults, the things I do wrong, the bad habits that I have, the bad habits that I will probably continue to have. It recognized the fact that, for some of us out there, change is a hard thing to come by. And moving on from your bad habits, you say you want to move on, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just double down on the worst aspects of yourself. And it's not that you want to be that person. It's not that you want to be someone who hurts other people inadvertently. It's just that you've become kind of comfortable in that persona and you don't know how to work around it. Hell, sometimes you don't want to just because it's what you know. It's all you know. Is that an excuse for your shitty behavior? No, absolutely not. And... That's what BoJack Horseman kind of is. It's a declaration that, yes, we all go through terrible things. We have sad histories, tragic pasts, terrible upbringings. Most people have some variation of that to some degree. But it's not an excuse. And you shouldn't expect saying, I'm sorry, to fix everything. Sometimes our behavior just has consequences that will never go away. Not truly, not completely. We are who we are. And no matter what, people see us a certain kind of way. And in a lot of cases, that will never change. There are people who will stick by us through thick and thin no matter what. But there are also people who will leave our lives and never return and in most cases that's just a matter of life in other cases it's their fault or it's your fault no one can predict how our interactions with other people will go but you can also at least put forth the effort to realize what's the things that you want to improve so that you don't end up losing a person the same way you lost a previous relationship friends, lovers, what have you. It's not easy. No one said life would be easy, as if you need to be told that. But you can get better. There's always the potential to get better. Will that fix everything? No, absolutely not. If anything, there's always the chance it might just make things worse. But does that mean you shouldn't try? That you shouldn't put forth the effort? Even though there's no reward waiting for you at the end? That the relationships you broke, the bridges that you burned, they're not just magically going to be fixed because people aren't waiting around for you to fix yourself. People have lives, lives that are eventually going to move forward and move on from you. It's all a matter of what you want and what you feel deep down. Do you want to be better? How can you be better? And why should you be better? Bojack Horseman asked those questions. And though it's wrapped in the silliest package imaginable, it makes you think about the parts of yourself that you might want to change. It's all a question of how many lessons do you need to learn? How many of the same mistake do you need to make before you finally make that change? And why? Bojack Horseman did not change my life. But it made me recognize the things that I do wrong the pitfalls that I keep falling into. I empathize with this character, and worst of all, I saw a lot of myself in this character. And the question became, how much of that am I willing to accept? How much of that am I willing to live with? How far down do I need to spiral before I decide to change what it is that I hate about myself, that others hate about me? How many people do I need to hurt before I realize what needs to be done to be better. The long fall down is rough, bumpy, and jagged, and the way up is just as terrible, but harder because you have to work to make that climb. And the question will always be, what will make that climb worth it to you?